let's go to a segment that we are not necessarily uniquely qualified to do, but especially qualified to do, given this uh, fact that Russ and I are both men of the theater and that Russell saw the London West End production of Henrik Ibsen's Enemy of the People. Uh, We mentioned how that version of it was really a critique of liberalism and the liberal class, and Russell had his suspicions about this one. Uh, So let's go to the video because the Broadway production starring Jeremy Strong and Michael Imperioli of uh, Sopranos fame, obviously, uh, just started previews. And uh, here is an Extinction Rebellion protester interrupting the show. I object to the silencing of scientists. I am very, very sorry to interrupt your night and this amazing performance. I am a theater artist. I work in this theater professionally. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> you're not anymore. <laughs> Black down. Let's go. We got somebody. Where's the Where's the floor? They do not have the floor. The ocean is the right. 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 Kind of relevant. Mm-hmm. All right, so there he is being escorted out. The Guardian did a little write up of this. This is brief. No theater on a dead planet. Climate activists disrupt Jeremy Strong Broadway show. Climate change protesters disrupted a preview showing of Jeremy Strong's new Broadway show on Thursday before being forcibly ejected. During a revival of Henrik Ibsen's An Enemy of the People, led by the succession actor, activists brought the production to a stop during a major scene. I object to the silencing of scientists, a protester said to the audience, which for those who did not catch our previous segment about this, An Enemy enemy of the People is about the very silencing of a scientist who realizes that a spa, which is basically the industry of a local town, uh, is toxic, and he tries to go to the press, and they ruin him for it because they would rather the truth be suppressed so yeah. that they can keep making money off of their town. Anyway, he, he thinks they're going to celebrate him as a hero. Right. Instead, they ruin him. Exactly. Uh, I am very, very sorry to interrupt your night and this amazing performance. He then proceeded to warn about impending environmental chaos as members of the cast, including the soprano star Michael Imperioli, pushed back. You need to leave. You're interrupting, he said, while Strong stayed in character, saying, let him speak. No theater on a dead planet, the activist shouted as he was being escorted to the exit. Responsibility to the protest has been claimed by a group known as Extinction Rebellion NYC, with a later post on X sharing the video. The group defines itself as a global nonpartisan climate justice movement using nonviolent direct action to pressure governments to act now. This play highlights that climate activists are not the enemy, said the group's spokesperson, Laura Robinson. But why are we being treated as such? Nonviolent climate protesters are being charged as if they have committed very violent acts. This is not sustainable and this is unacceptable. An Enemy of the People, which opens officially on Broadway next week, tells the story of Dr. Thomas Stockman, who finds harmful bacteria in the spas of a small town, but his attempts to make others aware turn him into a pariah. Another version of the play, which Russell saw, obviously starring Matt Smith, is currently playing in the West End. Imperioli, who plays Stockman's brother and mayor of the town, later made reference to the incident on Instagram. He wrote, Tonight was wild. No hard feelings, Extinction Rebellion crew. Michael is on your side, but Mayor Stockman is not. Uh, And then here is the uh, Instagram post uh, that he put on there to that effect. The article concludes, theater as usual won't be possible on a planet in which humanity fails to keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, a statement from the group read. If activists don't disrupt these shows, dangerous weather will make it impossible for the show to go on. So I just want to show a little bit of this with the sound off. So one of the things that I found curious about this is that even before the guy interrupts, the house lights are Uh up, which means they're clearly trying to simulate Mm -hmm. an interactive experience. Obviously, the production you saw, Russell, there was a talkback portion. Well, they they actually made it interactive. Yeah. Yeah, they straight. Yeah. So this this is interesting um, because, yeah, it looks like they went halfway towards what the London show did and tried to get the effect of a town hall. But no, the London show... Did a town hall. They handed out microphones to the audience 
without knowing what anyone was going to say. It wasn't vetted. Right. And, uh, yeah, that was like half the show. That was really half the show was like that town hall that you had the first act led into the town hall. And then the second act just opened with him making that great speech about the liberal class that I applauded. Um, and he stayed right in character and rolled with that. Um, Matt Smith. Um, and then, yeah, it became a talk back. And then they just kind of did a little epilogue of his life being just completely destroyed. And that was it. That was the play. Yeah. So we are uh, going to try and send Russell to see this show because Russell had certain speculations about the uh, interpretation of the material that would be permissible, shall we say, uh, in New York City to uh, a very upper class lib crowd, which to to their defense in London, I mean, it's I would imagine a similar demographic there, although there's no shit lib like a New York shit lib, really. Well, not only that. They're just not as fucking stupid over there. They just aren't. Right. They're 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 their whole just just from the week I spent there, and I can remember this from other times that I've been there. Um, it, there is a tendency of Americans to idealize um, the culture overseas, and and I I don't think I, I I don't think I'm going too far to say, yeah, the level of political discourse is smarter. Sure, yes. like if you think that all British culture is what you saw on Masterpiece Theater, you're going to be in for a rude fucking awakening. Yes, they have racism. Yes, they have ignorance. Yes, they have poverty. But it's just not at the same level, man. It's just not. It just isn't. The conversation is just not as dumb. It's a better educated population. Right. So we'll have to reserve final judgment on a segment like this uh, because we do want Russell to go and actually see that uh, show so that we could sort of compare it to the West End version. Um, but yeah, at oh, first, oh yeah, the video, yeah, like you do that town hall in a Broadway venue. I it, it would be interesting. It oh, would I'm be sure very they don't interesting. Do that. I would be very surprised if they actually. Oh did no, that. they're not doing yeah. it. I'm just saying, how would that go? That would, and and hey, you know, you showed that crowd, and this is part of what you know. I wrote that whole article breaking down how you know, kind of the decline of the arts culture. But frankly, it, it, it was, the audiences were always a problem for me. I, I, at the first time I went to see, um, uh, Suzuki, I went to see a show directed by Suzuki. And for those of you who are not theater people, he's this very famous theorist director from Japan. And, um, I looked around at the audience and, um, it's just like this audience, man. It's almost entirely white people. Um, yeah. and, and it's not, you know, I'm not saying that to point out the race, it's the class, it's the class because they're not just white people. They're fucking white people with money. Yeah. And absolutely. I remember, you know, I was very into directing very experimental kind of things. That's why I was at a Suzuki show as a college student. And, um, it was him doing King Lear. Like, dude, I watched King Lear in fucking Japanese to watch this right. guy's technique and approach. And I looked around at the audience. I said, is this what you want? Like to, like to be applauded by these people. Right. Like that's the, that's the best you'll ever do if you go in that direction. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. No, I, I, I feel you. So like I said, we're going to try and get Russell in there because the fact that like, if you watch the video of that segment, it kind of looks like they're, you know, being very hostile, but then Michael Imperioli and who knows, maybe this was just to save face. Said, you know, hey, I was just staying in character. <laughs> uh, good on you. You know, who knows? Who knows well, what the I, truth obviously is? Obviously, that's it's how they handled. Yeah. Obviously, that's how they handled the town hall in London. Like right. they would play off the people in the audience oh, in their yeah. in their characters. Uh, but yeah, I think I might be able to get a press pass for this. So yeah. I'm I'm going to inquire, and hopefully, hopefully they'll give it to me. Please clap. <laughs> 